Hello, it's Katie Parker. We're going to be making this pendant today. So it's um, a really beautiful design. It's quite intricate looking, but very, very simple to make. I also, just as a point, I used one of the buttons, the, the button beads in the kit to make the clasp as well. So it's a great way to use them and it really kind of follows on the design. Okay, so we're going to move straight on to making our pendant. So what we're going to need to start with, I've pre-threaded some beads onto my thread. There we go. So I've got 10 of the double drilled rounds and 10 seed beads. So you'll have an extra seed bead at the end there and not one at this side. I've got a length of thread. I'm using some black uh, wildfire actually and a size 10 beading needle. The length of thread, it's about an arm's length, but that is plenty. That's enough to be able to make a... Um, the actual bale for the pendant as well so you won't need to add any thread at all so once I've threaded these 10 beads on you can you can thread through um, either side hole it doesn't really matter how you pick these these double drilled rounds up so and once you've threaded them all we're going to do is make a round and tie a knot so just one way and then the opposite way so a double knot just to make sure that's really secure so pull it nice and tight there and pull it nice and tight like so. So that's enough to secure that and we've got a little round of beads. So once we've tied that knot and come through that bead just to pull that knot through, what we want to do is step up. So my thread is coming out through that bottom row of beads right in here. So to step up, all I'm going to do is come through the top hole of the same bead and that's going to step up. We're going to do that a few times during the... Um, the demonstration so that's all we do to step up is just using the top hole of the bead rather than the bottom row that we had been using so now we can start adding our wipe duos so wipe duos are domed on one side and flat on the other for this design i'm going to be using the domed side it's an, it's entirely up to you i would say they're probably meant to be used on the dome side but if you want to use the flat side that's that's your choice entirely so we just need to make sure we're picking up the, um, the point that's going to sit in nicely in this direction and um, be the domed side up and then we're going to come through the next bead. So this whole row is just adding that one bead at a time and um, just let, get letting it sit in that gap nicely like so. So just continuing all the way around adding those beads, making sure you're adding them the right way around as in dome up. They tend to twist as they go in don't worry about it just manipulate it a little bit with your fingers and you'll be able to get them to sit very nicely inside like that so i've got one that i've pre-done all the way around so we'll take a look at that one and there you go you can see we've got them all the way around and again i've just done that little step up Let's see if i can get the camera to see that so i've stepped up on this one here so my thread is just come around the side and I'm now working on the top row of these wipe duos so we need to start adding some more beads in again so on this row this is the third row so we're going to add a size 11 one of our rounds and another size 11 and work all the way around adding those now if you don't want to work in the opposite direction to the one the last row just turn it over these beads won't matter which direction you're working in which way you pick them up it'll work the same because they're the same on both sides so pulling those through and we're just going to work all the way around until we get to the other side so i'll meet you back there in just a few seconds so i'm about to finish the third row and i'm just about to add my last lot of beads so i've got my 11 my round and then my 11 and we're going to come through the next wipe duo so that was the one that we stepped up at and i'm going to come through right through to this this bead here so this round here so i'm coming out of the opposite side of that bead there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to step up again so this is another point where we step up and we just skip up to the top of that bead like so now this row this is the this will be the one two three fourth row we're going to add a round a seed bead and then a round so kind of the opposite to what we have been adding and we're going to go through the top of the next round so 
go adding that section there. So we're going to continue all the way around doing this one. So around a seed bead and around and to the next one like so. So you're going to continue all the way around until we get right round to the other side and then we're going to step up again. So I'll just show you where we are on this one here. So at the moment so we've come all the way around. My thread is still in the, that bottom row and we're just going to step up by my thread is exiting this bead at the bottom here and we're going to come through the top of that one. Okay, so now we can start adding our final lot of detail. So this is where we're going to add the size 15 as well. So on these slightly larger gaps, so you've got these slightly larger gaps here, and then we've got another gap here that's above a seed bead. So on these gaps, we're going to add a 11, a 15, and an 11. And through the top hole on that one. And on the single gaps, we're just going to add an 11. So we're going to work all the way through adding these little combination of 11, 15, 11 and through. And an 11, the next gap. And you're just going to work all the way around adding that little bit of extra detail. So I'm just going to work all the way around adding that last row which will be your fifth row and I will meet you back at the other side and show you how I added that little bale section. So once you've got all the way around your design what you need to do is I'm just adding my last bead there so my last single bead there and I'm going to come through the next set, so this little set of seed bead 15, um, seed bead, so 11, 15, 11, that I added, and that's going to be my point where I start my bale. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do like a ladder stitch on this. So I'm going to use the same combination again, so 15, 11, 15, and then I'm going to come back through that section there. So there you go, you can see that there. So I've got that 15, 15, 15, uh, 15, 11, 15, 11, and then come back through all of those. And then pull that through and they will sit on top of there. And then I'm going to come back through so that I'm on that top row ready to start my next one. So I'm just holding it just to secure it and keep it where I want it to be, making sure it's nice and firm. And adding that next combination again, which is 11, 15, 11 to my needle and then coming through that one again so, and it's just adding it row by row and then coming back through the ones you just okay, added. Okay so I've added 12 if I'm including this so I've got 12 for my loop. Now what I tend to do is because um, it still feels a little bit fragile does this kind of bail I like to strengthen it up by coming all the way back down so I'm just going to kind of zigzag or snake kind of all the way back down adding extra strength to each row as I go just adding that extra layer of thread so just working your way all the way down your 12 rows depends on what um, what sort of chain you're going to be using whether you um, want a wider uh, bale to be able to pass through or not but I used a seed bead necklace from um, made from the kit so almost down at the bottom. So this is just going to tighten all those rows up and give it lots of extra strength. And this is the part where we want all that strength to be. Okay, so I'm going to come through with that bottom row. So now I'm ready to add the top row to this. So I'm going to come all the way up, back up to the top again. Like so. Just loop that where I want it to be. And then I can pull that so I've got that looped where I want it to be and then just give that a bit of a pull and then back through that bottom row again like so. So this little section here because we've got a few pieces of thread through there now we might just need our pliers just to pull that through. Just 
to make sure you don't catch any beads okay so then from there what I would do is I'd just work around a few more times just trying to pass through both of these so I'd come through the bottom sorry the top part of our um, bale again I try and get another pass through the bottom and just that seems really tight now so that tells me that it's going to be nice and firm as well so I'm going to pull that through and then from then on I would just work in my thread so I'd work through my work just to make sure that that's worked well away from the bale and work through it but there you go you would cut off the tail at the the center but there you go that's it more or less finished just to the end of the thread to finish and that's ready to thread anything through there to to make it into a pendant so thank you for watching and i will see you again very soon